Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do the beginning of September general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Scorpio, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Heaven Only Knows by John Legend. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. So first of all, Mr. John Legend is a Capricorn. So some of you guys can be dealing with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individual. I'm also hearing strong Leo. Okay, something may have happened in Leo season or there could have been a Leo person because, you know, we just left Leo season, right? Something could have ended in Leo season because I did see the death card. So also Scorpio with the death card. Um, also, you could be dealing with someone who has strong Leo in their chart. You also have strong Leo in your chart. But I do feel like what I heard, and I, you guys know lately I've been writing down the phrases, right? Because I want to say it exactly like I heard it. And when I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard only... My handwriting scribbles scribble. I write like a doctor, okay? <laughs> Only the universe, <laughs> only the universe could be responsible for this union. And it definitely ties into the heaven only knows because that's like only the divine would know how this is going to play out. Only the divine would know that this would be your perfect person. So I do feel like there's an energy of, you know, still kind of being stuck in some past energy. But I'm getting new stuff coming in. I'm getting shake up. I wouldn't be surprised if we got the tower, which is also one of you guys' major arcana. The tower is Scorpio, also Aries. But I'm getting shake up energy. But I don't feel like of, of a negative, you know, frequency. Because we also are going into Mercury retrograde, right? The first day of Mercury retrograde is September 9th and it ends um, October 2nd, right? So I do feel like there's like upheavals because the tower also talks about upheaval. So it's like upheavals of thinking about things in the past, past relationships and how they did and didn't work. And heaven only knows why it didn't work. Something that you really, really felt like you wanted, that shit was not even remotely what you deserve. I'm just being real with you because that's what I'm getting here. So let's see what we get for you guys today, okay? Currently at the bottom, I, man, look here. I just said Leo. You got the sun card, major icon for Leo. Also, with the sun, whenever the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. And I was literally just saying, I'm seeing brand new shit. Like, you deserve to be at the center of this person's universe. And that's, I feel like you will. Look at that brand new love coming in. You have the page of cups. I'm telling you, like, the universe, I feel like with that, that sun energy, you see how it's fiery and it burns. I feel like you're burning away karmic connections, karmic energy. Like, you've healed some something. Like, cycles. These circles are talking about cycles. Like, you've burnt away some karmic cycles. And now you are allowing yourself to come into connection with someone who's going to offer you something major. Even though it's a page, it's still something new coming in. Like, and it's an emotional offer at that is what I'm getting. Okay? So, we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys to major arcana. Get Pisces here with the High Priestess. You or this person's first, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, M, H, or W. First, middle, last initial for you or this person. You have new love coming in. Um, and I, I definitely feel like, hmm, wow, some of you guys got two options. Now, this also could be because their backs are facing each other. That one person is leaving the picture and one person, a new person is coming in. Remember I was saying with John Legend, he's a Capricorn. He do have pentacles. This is technically seen as Taurus. It relates more to Taurus, but it's not a major. So it's a minor. So it applies to other earth signs also. And I did say that for some of you guys, you're leaving someone. This is the past person and someone new because she's going towards the future. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of you guys may have a new person here. And this is a, you have um, both queens, which means these are very important people. Because kings and queens are put on pedestal. They're very well revered, very well respected. So a lot of you all attract people who are in positions of power they're very well off and you know what i'm getting that's why in the past this person someone from your past you may have felt like they were the one because they look good on paper or they would have looked good on paper but look what's sticking up right here in the very back they were not good for you are you kidding me look at this five of pentacles lack loss abandonment being left out in the cold this person left you out in the cold May have took your very last, like literally took your very last of your sanity at some point. Um, your finances, they were shit. They weren't worth the damn. But you got somebody new coming in. Also, like I said, with that karmic type of energy, I feel like they have taught you how to stand in your power. Because look at her. She ain't for none. Look at her face. Male or female, this person is not for none. I really want you to look at the lips. It's, it's I'm, I'm like, the way I'm seeing it, it's kind of like, 
Like, I, I ain't with none of that. You know, I'm just kind of getting that face. Like, somebody is not even, you guys are not tolerating BS anymore in relationships. Also, this past person has really made you be on guard as well. You're very on guard with your space, your energy, your finances also, because somebody owes you some money. An ex owes you some money. Possibly cleaned out some type of account with things ended and skipped town. Mm. You guys have found yourself the Hermit Major Arcana from Virgo, and we are currently in Virgo season. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of you guys have found your way. You were dealing with someone who's a snake. You had a lot of snakes on your path in the past, okay? And initially where you would have overlooked it, now you see how he's looking down, you see it for what it is. You can you can read a person before they even try to give you any extra weird ass energy or try to get over on you. The Hermit always talks about someone who's going on a spiritual journey, some type of spiritual enlightenment, seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, especially when it comes to self. You guys, you guys know yourself now more than you ever have before in the past is what I'm getting. So we're going to get your major arcana, which is the death card. The card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then clarifies, right? So let's go ahead. Yeah, you guys have guarded, but guess what? You got new love coming in. Somebody definitely owe you money to an uh, ex. I feel like somebody has been stolen from, you know, somebody has stolen from you in the past. And and it's made you very guarded with the seven of wands. Yeah, okay. I would be guarded too if I was you in a in that position, but don't be so guarded and feel like everyone is going to be like that because I'm not getting that to be the case. I'm not getting that. And as, as I stop, like the scales are being balanced. And then, like I said, heaven over only knows. Look at that heavenly glow behind him. You got Taurus energy. You got Libra energy here. Major Arcana, so that's definite. So again, we're going to look for the death card and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Scorpio. Someone rising in Venus individuals. I'm getting new stuff. New, new, new. I'm hearing new stuff. A lot of promising um, interactions with love interests. Again, some of you guys could definitely have two people, but I want you guys to see it. You're watching me as I go through this. And this is at the very back. This is your card. It's the very last of the deck. So this was a long time coming. You guys have written off. Like, you know how you finally pay for a car or something like that and you sign that final paperwork you guys have finally signed off some type of karmic cycle and look what you're getting ready to call in or you're calling in now the car very whoa okay we're gonna look at those the car that came out right in front of it now let me put this right here because i want you guys to see will of fortune fate destiny um something fortunate coming in for you and then the two of wands reverse upright is needing to choose a destination or a direction to go in if you felt like moving forward because he's looking towards the future if you felt like moving forward, nothing is ever going to happen for you because in the past it's never happened in the way that you wanted it to. Will of Fortune is telling you that the will is finally turning in your favor. Finally. And I like that for you. I love that for you, actually. So you have the Empress. For every Empress, there's an Emperor, vice versa, same sex. However, it applies for you. You have Libra, Libra, Taurus. And we did just have Libra with the Justice card. We also had Taurus with the Hierophant. So you got those twice now. Libra, Taurus, and Aries energy here with the Empress. This is a divine counterpart. This next person looks like somebody you're going to spend the rest of your life with. There's definitely going to be talks of marriage. I'm going to tell you there's going to be talks of marriage right behind you. Ace of Pentacles, Ace, something established, setting the foundation. This is going to be a big deal. Let's see what's behind here. Wow, you guys have manifested some amazing stuff. So you have the um, Magician, Gemini, also Virgo energy. And then you have the Ten of Swords being lied to, betrayed, stabbed in the back, and let down. But I feel like that's the end of the cycle. Because the numerology 10 talks about ending, something wrapping up. And I noticed the ending because if you notice, in the other decks, the Ten of Swords is actually in their back right here. It's floating out. You see that glow there? And remember I said the song, Heaven Only Knows. It's like this is a divine, heavenly glow. Like they're healing you. From the betrayal. That cycles have ended with that. It's, it's done. It's done and it's over with. You guys have manifested nothing but new stuff. And I'm going to say again, we are currently in Virgo season. And this does resonate with Virgo. This is your second major arcana connected to Virgo. So a lot of y'all could be meeting someone in Virgo season. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it could be a Virgo. So let's see. Are you guys looking at your spread? This is beautiful. Only the universe, as I said earlier, could be... You know, the, the orchestrator of this new situation here, this is going to be someone that you're going to marry. This definitely talks about marriage here. This is going to be someone you're going to marry. Watch what I tell y'all. Bottom of the deck, seven of swords, lying to you to manipulate a sneak conniver. You guys are moving away from people who were full of shit in the past. They were clowns. You got circus tents in the background. You guys are moving away from that. Let's see what's behind here. Yeah, heavy. This was heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy load, heavy burden. Like I said, it's coming to an end. 
with those tens, something is coming to an end. The ex, things are ending. That's over. That's done with. I'm also going to say this. You you could definitely have an ex who's going to try to come back. As I'm saying ex, you have an ex who's going to try to come back. They have not changed. They wouldn't do nothing but bring you more burden again, you know. Let's go ahead and power up the deck, but you got victory. <laughs> Six of Wands, success, attainment, achievement, victory. Absolutely. There's happiness coming in for you guys. This definitely resonates with Leo again. So there could be a Leo involved in this situation. Or strong Leo placements. Somebody got strong Leo placements here for sure. You had that sun already. Six of Wands, that's Leo also. That's going to clarify for the Empress as well as the Ace of Pentacles. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of um, Swords in reverse. I always tell you guys, Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. In reverse, it's like they've already lost the battle. I'm going to tell you right now, if especially with this energy, if there was an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they, that could be the ex-person trying to come back. And now that I'm getting these energies together, because again, this is Gemini, especially if it's a Gemini, they I don't feel like they're very trustworthy. They'll do it again, is what I'm hearing. I feel like they'll do it again. They'll, they'll hurt you again. They'll cause drama again. Also, if there was a breakup in Gemini season, which is May, June, I feel like, you know, they they would stick another sword in your back, another dagger to the heart, this person. That's going to clarify for the Empress, for Scorpio, Summer, Rise, and Venus. And I, and I was picking up, okay, you see I flipped up in my hand, so I can't put it back. I was picking up for some of you guys, and I know you could have an ex, right? An ex who is an air sign. That doesn't mean that you can't meet a new person. I know that could be confusing, so I had to put that out there. Because I know Scorpios. I have My son is a Scorpio. He's a Halloween Scorpio. And I'm very close to a lot of Scorpio people, and you guys are very analytical, so you want like precision. But keep in mind, this is general. This is a general reading, so you wouldn't get that type of precision unless you had a personal reading. But I do feel like you you could be in something with someone who has strong air sign placement, but a new one can come in because, you know, this is a new person. There's a lot, millions of billions of people on earth who have those same placements. So you have a new one coming in. You can have an old one going out, but I'm, I'm definitely getting something with air. So the card, look, so I said air and then it flipped in reverse, but it came out initially upright. You got air sign, Libra. You guys, have, look, karmic justice, things are balancing in your fucking favor. As I said, heaven only knows. They knew. I Look, I've been saying since the beginning of your reading, the scales are balancing for you. You have finished off this contract. Justice, that's contracts. You have finished off some type of karmic cycles that was bringing all types of BS in your life. A lot of hurt, a lot of drama. And it's like the universe is like rocking with you right now. Okay? They, things are going in your favor. You have two major arcanas. That's definite energy. And they're both upright. That's definite energy. Now, when I just picked it up, as you guys seen, it flipped up upright, but then I dropped it and it, yeah, okay, thank you. When I dropped it, it came up in reverse because somebody dropped the ball when they lost you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bottom of the deck. When I said dropping, look at that. You're dropping that heavy load. Again, tens, cycles ending. You're done with that. This cycle, you guys have been going through some crazy karmic cycles, and it's done. I know it has to do with karma because you have to justice here. That shit done. And now you're getting ready to see the fruit of your labor, fruition. You see all this growth, all this green and plush. And green also connects with the energy of healing. Like when you see a lot of stuff with, with like green energy, is life force, is healing. Absolutely. Let's get a clarifier for your Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio, Summer Rising. Okay, that flipped up quick. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so somebody from your past who's an air sign, okay, they was full of shit. Five Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. I feel like you're going to leave this person out in the cold, or they left. They definitely left you out in the cold in the past for sure. Page of, um, page of Swords. Yeah, look at that energy. So, if you notice, his body is facing the Ace of Pentacles, but then he's looking in a different direction. This is someone who went in a different direction, left you out in the cold. Which, again, is fine. Because it's going back to what I was picking up earlier, right? What I was picking up initially is like, what you thought you wanted, it's a small potatoes compared. You got a page and an Ace. They don't even compare. What's getting ready to come into your life, this is the truth right here. This is the truth right here. This person is a page. They're like, they, they are literally... This is like raisins to a grape. This is nothing. It's absolutely nothing compared to what it is that's coming into your life now. And I feel like you're going to be extremely happy. I'm going to say again, if they try to come back towards you, 
in um Mercury retrograde, which I feel like for a lot of you all they will. They ain't on shit. They haven't changed at all. Also, yeah, because I, I feel the need to tell you to be mindful of that because keep in mind, Scorpios, you guys are fixed. Scorpio is a fixed sign. So wherever the, the Scorpio placement is in your chart that you're watching for, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change. Scorpio is a fixed sign. So some of you guys like to be able to be comfortable and be with somebody that you have a history with. No, but this history is not going to move forward. Because uh, right, he's moving forward. He's being progressive in reverse. It's not moving forward. It's just coming back because I'm, I'm getting a sense of entitlement. Like this person could be entitled, but let's not even talk about that because that's the only like challenging card here. As I stated, like, the universe has aligned some dope shit to come into your life. This is, all of these are saying marriage, because justice could be the justice of peace also. I'm telling you, this is going to be somebody you're going to marry. Look at this energy. You, you're you going to marry this next person. Watch what I tell you. You guys are going to marry this next person, and you're going to then realize why this person never even stood a chance, or they never even fucking mattered. Okay? So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.